Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. Tomorrow, Paris Saint-Germain are set to face AS Monaco at the Stade de Louis de, in the round of 24 of Ligue 1 Uber Eats. And here are the time zones. Obviously, the last game between the two outfits, seven goals were scored in total, including Osman Dembélé's first goal for Paris Saint-Germain and only goal so far this season. It was a spectacular performance, in my opinion, from Paris Saint-Germain. The two goals that we conceded, the first one, I don't counter it's a donor mistake it's not monaco doing something great that we can't defend against and the second one i mean screen your what are you doing i mean maybe that's why i'm a bit happy that you're injured for the moment but monaco they are obviously just you know the usual monaco being very inconsistent dropping points against low teams and here's the reason for them they have one defeat two draws one win one defeat and one win so they're coming in with a little bit of form then usual self before the last times at least two wins and one defeat in their last three games coming into this game but Paris Saint-Germain will be absolutely ready to dismantle this Monaco side it will be a question if Monaco will play similarly to FC Nantes and Stade de Rennes play defensively play conservative and play off the counter-attack because that seems to be Paris Saint-Germain's Achilles heel obviously Monaco is a third in the league at the moment they are aiming for that Champions League spot they cannot aim for the league and top spot Paris Saint-Germain have too big of a gap and too good of a squad for Monaco to even try to compete and here's a cheeky medical update Marquinhos will do indoor work today and will be rested for the trip to Monaco its resumption is scheduled for this Saturday Milan Skriniar and Presnel Kimpembe continue their recovery program and here's a predicted lineup for Paris Saint-Germain in goal has to be Gianluigi Donnarumma in the defense with Marquinhos out it's really simple it's Lucas Hernandez Lucas Beraldo Danilo Pereira and Ashraf Hakimi in the midfield I see Vitinha Fabian and Warren Zaira Emery. If Paris Saint Germain didn't have, you know, that if a performance versus Rennes and if a result, maybe Ugarte would have started this game. But I think Lucho wants to go all out versus Monaco and get a great performance because we're playing on Friday, so there's still a gap until that Tuesday game versus Sociedad. And up in attack, it's really easy to predict Barcola, Dembele, and Kylian Mbappe. It's a beautiful lineup, usually 4 3 3. And I think Vitinha will once again be the number six. Had a really good performance, in my opinion, versus Lille. And let's see what he continues to. To do in that position obviously it was switched to a 3-2-5 looking like this i think fabian and warren in the half spaces i would like Lu to try out warren zaira emre on the left because we haven't really seen him being tried out there and i don't see an issue of trying warren on the left side and that's why i'm predicting a 3-1 victory for paris saint-germain golasso's coming in from vitinha mbappe and ashraf hakimi with golovin getting the goal for monaco paris saint-germain will perform really well but we start to drop off maybe the last 20 25 minutes because they're concentrating and focusing on the upcoming game this is a game where you want to perform well for you know the 60 minutes the majority of the game have control dictate the game and then having substitutes that come on and also have an impact let me know what's your prediction in the comments down below that's been it from your boy psg and as usual allez 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 paris